up here from our studio here in Stockholm is Neo Dynamics and presenting is CEO Anna Eriksrud. Welcome Anna. Thank you. Modern imaging technique in the cancer area reveal lesions that are very, very small today. Small like two, three millimeter in size. And the risk with the present methods needle technique is that you get false negative results. And you know in the cancer area it's vital to get the right diagnosis uh, early in the cancer development and you can save lives. So a paradigm shift is happening already today when they use Neonavia in selected clinics and more will come as we are changing the whole perspective uh, as the lesions, as mentioned, are very small when you detect them. So in brief, um, our novel biopsy technology is also called PALS technology. And it is unique, it's patented around the world and it offers then the user a higher precision when they perform their biopsy. It also enables them to take an adequate, the right, at the right place, so to say, a larger tissue of samples. And you can go in uh, to remote places, difficult places, which you avoid today. It is user friendly as well. The market, what can we say of that? In brief, we can say, first of all, cancer is detected early on and is then um, uh, a large area. Improved imaging technique, as mentioned uh, in the start. And a very interesting area. You can really say that it is a breakthrough with the precision medicine if you use a precision biopsy to take the diagnosis. The wrong diagnosis and of course the treatment is not helping at all. Our business model is to prove commercial uh, viability. What we mean with that to show that it is used in reference clinics and then to offer a cooperation, a partnership either through out licensing or exit to a larger player. Most likely this player is situated in North America where the biopsies are, so to say, more frequently used than, than in other parts of the world. And we can then go further and develop new, this technology into other indications where they use the biopsies today. So applications, we start with the breast cancer area and we can then continue with other areas as well in the cancer uh, domain. So some numbers now, um, we talk about 6 million biopsies per year performed and a value of the market of around 500 million US dollar. It is growing as mentioned and it is very much related to that we have new treatments coming up requiring biopsies to be taken between periods. And you should remember it is a standard treatment already today to take tissue samples also called biopsies. So this is um, a video, a very short one, that shows the conventional method uh, used uh, where you actually uh, risk to destroy the tissue around the needle. And then you have the pulse technology uh, where the tissue is standing still. And that means you can reach even the smallest lesion and you can take the sample uh, you plan to take. We are offering here three different needles depending on what kind of lesion uh, the doctor has in front of, of him and uh, it is then the vacuum needle, the uh, core pulse needle and the flexipulse needle. So what do we offer with our precision biopsy system? Well, it is designed to offer the highest precision as mentioned, control of the needle when you insert it. Today you use spring-loaded technique and you shoot in and of course this is very difficult if you talk about small lesions. The yield is higher and you can reach difficult places. You see here uh, the driver where we have the intellect I call it, where you have the technology. You have three different options, probes, these are the consumables, the driver and the base unit with the vacuum is the, the capital equipment or mm -hmm. is reusable. So what does it mean in benefits? It enables fewer biopsies to be taken, very good for the patient. You don't need to take three to five um, samples um, per each patient. A potential to replace all ultrasound uh, guided uh, biopsies with our um, three needles. And we can replace also a large portion of small surgical 
biopsies. And this is where you also see uh, health economics as such. So launching Neonavia. We talk about a market access strategy where we use the peer-to-peer -peer, um, selling, I call it. In other words, doctors recommend to other doctors and you need to be high up on the scale at the university centers in order to influence. Uh, we are working with them. We have selected three markets, Sweden, Germany and UK. Uh, we have senior sales teams in each of them. I wouldn't say team because we talk about three people that are working on key accounts. Because as you remember, our business model is to have reference centers and to show commerciality or viability in a commercial um, sense as well uh, in these clinics. However, we are not building up a large sales force. This is for a partner to do. And um, we aim at then proof of concept um, by end of this year and during next year. We have positive reactions to physicians and, and here you see actually our customers in full action. They are watching um, a, a model where they can test our product in a meat model. Uh, they are very technique interested uh, and we have created through the workshop, we are really creating a need for the product. Uh, often after a workshop, in 90% of the cases, uh, we are seeing also an, an order coming in, actually. So um, <clears throat> I can say that now, as we published, we have five uh, different hospitals that have actually placed um, order. However, we have had problem with the pandemic because, as you know, we need to physically see our physicians uh, in order to have the workshop and um, many hospitals have been closed. So we are delayed, but we, uh, we feel now that it's opening up and it's a positive um, tone uh, when we talk to the doctors. They are on and want also, as we want, to have a normal life with visitors um, explaining new methods, etc. Uh, here, um, a timetable in a way. So you have Europe now where we have ongoing uh, our um, commercial, so to say, um, rollout. Uh, and we have first sales in, in Europe. In, in the US, we require a 510k um, regulatory process. We have an ongoing dialogue with FDA. That's the most important thing that we have, um, that we have not left them, so to say, until the last minute. Uh, and they have confirmed the way how we should file. We know, though, that also in the US um, they, uh, and at FDA, they have prioritized the um, COVID-19 drugs. So we don't know about how quick uh, they will handle, but they have 90 days, as we know, uh, as their limit. And we plan to submit um, by year end here. The final is China. And um, I would say that once we have submitted our FDA file, uh, we will also file um, for China. And as you, are, uh, as you know, we have uh, one of our larger owners from China who are looking forward to that this process is finally starting. I want to mention areas of the product portfolio as such. When you um, um, take a sample, you are also uh, using a, a, a clip to mark the place where the lesion that is, has a suspected cancer is situated. And why is that? Well, it is because you need to come back and control if the lesion has shrinked. You need also to take away the whole surrounding around the cancer lesion. And in uh, the reality today, you can see the clips very much on mammography but it is very hard on ultrasound. And it is in the ultrasound area where uh, you are using, so to say, you're using the ultrasound in order to, to um, check on the patient. And of course, this is very frustrating that they can't find uh, what they have marked with. Uh, and uh, not least, I would like to say, when you develop this, you, the manufacturers have uh, enjoy a good margin on these products. So this is um, how it looks like today on ultrasound and it's very hard to find the clip. Uh, here we have tested with our product and um, you can see 
that it has a totally other um, sign. Uh, what they need is of course to find the clip within a few minutes when they examine the patient. Uh, and uh, we are now in the design phase and hope to uh, finish that by end of the year. So a clip in the basket would then um, enable us to also bundle at the hospital. So um, a bundle offer which means needles and clip together. The other area, um, if you would like to call it product portfolio, is of course to develop um, our technology also in other indications. And you see here that breast is the largest and that's what we are focused on now. But you have also other areas and prostate case cancer is an area of interest of course for us. Um, to sum up, um, our market cap, we, are, um, we have a low value today. It is shaky on the stock market as well, but we can conclude just that it is approximately uh, 170 million. Um, we have cash enough for this year and we have already earlier um, announced that we will uh, do a new uh, financing round in the springtime 2022. Um, our target milestones is of course US uh, and to uh, remind ourselves most important is to have good quality of the file. It's not so much about deadlines as to have the quality. Further sales in Europe and then clinical study reports where we have a good clinical program. I have not touched on that today, but we uh, expect to have uh, results here by uh, last quarter. So why invest? Um, I hope you remember my summary in brief about new dynamics and I think that uh, the most important thing is that we follow the trend in cancer care. We are aligned with what is happening and you remember the word precision medicine or individualized medicine in the cancer area. And if you use that, you require also precision biopsies uh, to be taken. Otherwise you will fail with your, with your treatment. Our product is well documented uh, very much compared to many other medtech uh, companies uh, and we have an ongoing clinical program. This is important when we turn to partners as they see that we are committed long term with our medical uh, studies. Um, some that are completed now but others are ongoing to be completed in the near future. And we have today an ongoing good cooperation now uh, thanks to the opening up of the hospitals uh, after the pandemic with key centers who are very eager to work together with us in order to make New Navia known uh, around the world. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much for your presentation, Anna. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions here. Mm -hmm. um, so Neodynamics has been quite active introducing new Navia in clinics around Europe. The pandemic has obviously uh, brought on some challenges there. How have you sidestepped these challenges? Mm -hmm. Before sidestepping, it is just to conclude, we had a good schedule or timetable uh, in January, February to roll out the product. However, the hospitals closed. For us, it is vital to get the workshops uh, set up. Uh, and why is that? Because the doctors need to touch and feel. They see the result uh, immediately when they are testing our product. They see the result of uh, the sample size, etc. And often they conclude with asking for a quote and an order. Uh, with the presentation, it is like one of, of thousand presentations that are hold uh, by a pharma or a medtech uh, company. What we have done is uh, during this spring is to uh, select the right people, uh, present to them and book timetable for workshops. Some have been even so keen that they have uh, offered us uh, workshops at a, um, a hotel next to the hospital. So we have run there with our uh, ultrasound machines and our products and of course they have tested and it has been good. But it's not optimal. So, so now we are back to normal and I'm very pleased with that. Mm. That's great. So there's a positive mood mm -hmm. of course. So mm. that's, uh, that's yeah. hope that keeps up. Yes. Um, well, you, you, you're also, you also mentioned uh, moving towards the US in terms of mm -hmm. market. Um, and in terms of being a big milestone for mm. the company. Uh, recently you mentioned that a patent was granted for your device. 
how important is this patent in terms of moving towards the U.S.? Mm -hmm. So uh, we have we can conclude now that we have patents in the U.S. together with the uh, remaining part of the world, uh, but we have in U.S. now for both our needles as well as the um, pulse technology, and that is then the basis for us to be free and and handle so to say a sales situation once we have the regulatory appro approval. Mm -hmm. uh, our um, I think no one uh, is doubting or everyone that has followed us uh, has heard about US as the potential uh, and that the company's value is is more related to the US market uh, and what we can do there because the biopsy world if I may say so, is, is starting there. They have a good reimbursement system. There, uh, there are the, the big um, biopsy med tech companies that, would, that are not so good at research and development, but are very good at selling. So, um, and this his in history, we've seen the same happening, that uh, these big companies are actually picking up um, products that are developed somewhere else in the world. So let's see now if we can, uh, not let's see, but rather to say that we are working on the file now. We have a dialogue with FDA. Uh, our aim is to get it, it submitted as soon as possible. But very important is that FDA is with us until the very end. The dialogue should be ongoing because we know they are busy. If they see something that is not in tune with what they expected, they will put it aside, stop the clock, and then we have another tour. So it's very important what we do here in the in the end as well uh, to rush with um, sense. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, well, it'll be exciting to mm. follow new dynamics mm. in the in the coming future. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for answering our questions and for your presentation. And we do wish you all the best for your future work. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.